The median time to sell a property in Perth in March was 17 days, the lowest it's been since 2006, the peak of Perth's last major boom. Now, REWA President Damien Collins says properties in Perth were selling the quickest they had in 15 years, and 26 days faster than they were just a year ago. So let's get into all the details with this month's Perth Market Update. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our Market Update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. So Mr Collins said, the turnaround we are witnessing in the Perth property market is quite remarkable. In the span of 12 months, we've seen the Perth median selling time drop from 43 days in March 2020 to just 17 days in March 2021. That is a reduction in the median time of almost four weeks or 26 days. Perth is a seller's market at the moment and buyers are facing a lot of competition to secure a property, which is reflected in how quickly we are seeing properties sell, and that's uh, what Mr. Collins said. Now, CoreLogic data shows the Perth Home in Value Index lifted 1.8% in March. It's a massive jump in a month. And Mr. Collins said this is the seventh month in a row the Perth Home Value Index has increased and it shows no sign of slowing down. On a quarterly basis, the Home Value Index is up 5% since the start of the year, Mr. Collins said. Now, Rewa.com data supports the CoreLogic findings with the Perth median house sale price sitting at $495,000 in March 2021, which is up from $480,000 in March 2020. Now, there were 67 suburbs across Perth that recorded an increase in median house sale price during March. The five suburbs with the biggest growth were Cottesloe, up 5.4% to $1.95 million, Como, up 4.1% to $895,000, Rockingham, up 3.8% to $410,000, Lake Coogee up 3.5% to 587,500 and one and up, up 3.4% to 530,000. That's all coming from Mr. Collins. Now other suburbs to record median sale price growth were Yangebup, Duncraig, Claremont, Balladura and Dudley Park. Now there were 8,247 properties for sale in Perth on Rewa.com at the end of March. This is up 5.1% compared to February 2021, but down almost a third when compared to the same time last year, Mr. Collins said. While there are still 4,000 fewer listings for sale than there were at the end of March 2020, the increase in the number of properties for sale in March 2021 is an encouraging trend. Now it appears the Perth, uh, sorry, it appears that Perth property owners are increasingly recognising that this is an excellent opportunity to sell their home quickly and at a competitive price. Turning to leasing, leasing activity increased 15.6% in Perth in March, according to Reba.com data. There was an increased in activity in the rental market during March, which can be attributed to tenants and property owners making preparations for the end of the rental moratorium. Despite this, leasing levels are still down almost 20% compared to this time last year due to the rental shortage the state is experiencing, Mr. Collins said. Perth's median rent price held at 400 bucks for a week for the third month in a row in March. Now, while the Perth median rent has increased 40 bucks per week over the last year, it's still $50 less than it was in 2014, and Perth remains the most affordable place for tenants in the country to rent, Mr. Collins said. Rework.com data shows the suburbs to record the biggest rent prices increase during March were Bassendine up $15 to $395 a week, and Joondal up, up $15 as well to $400 bucks a week. Other suburbs to record strong rent price growth were Butler, Nolamara, Wellard, Cannington, Clarkson, Beckingham, Bentley and Harrisdale, all of which saw their median rents increase 10 bucks a week in March. And that's all coming from Mr. Collins. Now, median time to lease a rental in Perth during March was 19 days. And this is the same amount of time it took in February, but nine days quicker than it was a year ago. The last time rentals were leased this fast was in June 2013, Mr. Collins said. Now, there were also 2,722 properties listed for rent in Perth on Reba.com at the end of March. This month marks the seventh consecutive month listings for rent have sat below 3,000. Now, the figure for March is down 1.6% compared to February 2021 and a substantial 50% compared uh, when compared to March 2020. Perth desperately needs an influx of available stock. Now that the rental moratorium is over, we should start to see more properties to come to market in the coming months, but it's not gonna fix all the problems. That's what, all coming from Damien Collins, president of Rewa. He also says we need to incentivize property investment in WA so we can meet the demand for rental housing. Well guys, that's it from me today. Please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.